Yeah. And we're going to get started in the room. Um, for Brianna, did you, was there a moment where you were like, okay, I need to turn this on? And because it seemed like from the third to the fourth quarter, like you just kind of took things up several notches. So, as a team? Well, you in particular, but as a team, you guys all kind of seemed to figure it out in the fourth. Yeah, I mean, I think that um, I was kind of getting great looks when I was getting downhill. Um, knowing that it was so back and forth, uh, really wanting to do whatever I could to continue to, to bring the, the game to the next level. Um, they were switching, they weren't switching, uh, so there was a lot of, of openings for me and uh, just continuing to be aggressive. You know, whenever there's a small on me, like, I have to um, finish that. And um, and then the rest of the team, obviously, we just continued to pick it up. Our defense really tr helped us get out and run offensively. and. Uh, when they have to take the ball to the basket, it's a lot harder for them to kind of get going. For, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. No, you got me. Uh, for both of you, it was a very physical game. Do you guys like games? Did you get hit in the eye? No. Oh, no. okay. Yeah. Um, that was in warm-ups <laughs> a few games ago. Too late. <laughs> right. No, no. Um, do you guys like when games are like that? Honestly, I don't know how physical it was because they were just calling a lot. Fair. Good we'll go. answer, right? Yep. We'll go over to Zoom, starting with Miles. <laughs> hey, Brianna. I wanted to ask you about John Quell's poise tonight because she dealt with some foul trouble, but while she was out there, she was a team high and plus minus. And her ability to just battle on the glass, especially against that sky front court, and she also shoveled you an underhanded dime in that first quarter in the open court. What is she bringing you when uh, – when she's out there on the court and, and just kind of contributing to this team? Yeah, I mean, I think that obviously we all know that JJ is is a scorer. And um, the fact that through it all today, through the, the foul trouble, you know, some looks of hers weren't going in. She continued to uh, be a force for us defensively and then offensively finding, finding our one another um, she's looking for me a lot especially in transition and uh, just being able to, to have that post chemistry is something that's that's really important and uh, we want to continue to build on that as we you know go through the next however many games that we have we'll go to Jackie <laughs> I was like I don't want to say thank you right now <laughs> Good evening, all. Thank you for taking the time. Um, I think I want to start with Sandy. Obviously, I think I did the math here. There were 39 personal fouls called in this game. So I guess I'm just curious how you thought the team dealt with some of the adversity of the foul calls, of JJ not being on the floor for as long as you would have liked differently in the game um, or differently versus the um, the game at home when you guys lost. So essentially, how did you handle the adversity better? Well, way better. Uh, they, they stayed more composed and poised. Um, even JJ, like, is... You know, she knew what she, how she could help us when she got back out in the court. I wasn't getting, too, you know, too frustrated. You know, sometimes, you know, you get, your body language can change. I thought we stayed in the moment, and JJ was still great for us. The rebounding was fantastic. I thought uh, she really, you know, anchored the zone in that fourth quarter. Um, and that's what you got to do. Some days it's just, you know, you're not sure what they're going to be calling you. It takes you out of a bit of a rhythm, but you can still contribute to the team, and I thought she did that well. But... But overall, we, we stayed more composed, and that's what we need to do because sometimes they get a little bit <coughs> grimy uh, like that. For sure. And, and Stewie, for you, uh, it's, it's only Tuesday, but there's been a lot of talk in this young week online and on television about physicality in this league. Obviously, there were 39 personal fouls this evening. I guess I'm just curious what your message is to newer fans who might not seem to understand that physicality in this league isn't new. Yeah, I mean, really to anybody, this is the best league in the world. And nobody's going to give you anything easy. Um, and understanding that and learning how to play through it, you know, at this, this level. Um, they're the fastest, the strongest, the quickest. Um, and that's why this is the WNBA. So um, continue to kind of pay attention to what we do, understand that, you know, we're trying to bring our best basketball. Um, when we're playing against other teams, we're obviously trying to win. Uh, but knowing that as a collective, we're continuing to bring this league to a better place um, altogether. Thank you. We'll go to Fifi. 
Hey, Coach, the game was a little bit of limbo heading into the fourth, but you guys closed it out 23-9 to get the win. Uh, just what do you like out there in the defensive end as you guys close out to get the win? Yeah, look, I thought our, our zone really helped us. Um, you know, kept him. We could can keep the guards out of the paint. We could keep an eye on Mabry. Um, you know, the post players got going a little bit in the third, but I thought we contained them well once we changed the defense up here. And uh, this uh, very rarely do I say it, but I'm saying if we can actually score, that's going to help our defense because it could help us get set. Um, so it was great to keep him to nine points. You know, really happy with that effort. And you know, area, a lot of areas we can still get better at, but overall, the, the win was the most important thing. And um, we'll head to Atlanta and hopefully get another one. And uh, first game against Cardozo, uh, against you guys. Uh, what do you see from her and Reese and also Elizabeth Williams on the glass? Seems like they're really physical down there. Small sample size, but they've had a little bit of success against you guys. They rebound, that's for sure. They got their average. Angel average is five and Elizabeth's three. Um, you know, they're tough there. They, they kept getting bigs. When JJ got into foul trouble, that, you know, that was kind of a little tough for us too. We. Um, we're a little bit undersized there, but you know, Kadosa, she's going to get better and better. I mean, she's still a, a, obviously a young player, and they're going to find ways to utilize her. And um, but yeah, so you know, they've got a lot of post depth there. Thank you, six travels. Jeff. Jeff. Thank you. Good evening, all. Congrats. Pardon. We can hear you. Oh, can you guys hear me? Yep. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, Coach, my question was for you. What was your message to the team going into the fourth quarter, especially facing a one-point deficit? Basically said we're going to play zone as much as we can, and if we can score, that's going to help us. So uh, that was the big thing. But, it, yeah, just getting stops. We had to get stops and really get good execution. I thought um, we found really high-quality shots. We will get into the rim. We had wide, more wide-open looks than we did in the third. I thought we were forcing some of the action. We are missing some easy ones. Um, but, yeah, we just, you know, we stay composed. And sometimes you just, that's just got to do. We got back in the game, let it slip away in the third. But our defence, you know, helped us and our execution on offence was great and I mean these two have made some great shots I thought Stewie was amazing just getting downhill so we're trying to put her in yeah, as many spots as we could appreciate your time and insight safe travels Brian hi everybody um this was for Sabrina on the night you were able to get a lot of shots in the rim and on the move how do you think you were able to sort of find those gaps in the defense to take advantage and have that success in the paint yeah, I mean, I think it was really just reading how they were guarding um, off ball screens and on ball screens. Um, you know, a lot of the time they weren't trying to switch, particularly with me and Stewie in, um, in actions. And so it was just turning the corner and trying to attack downhill. And especially early on, I was able to find success just getting into the paint. And I think that kind of softened up the defense and allowed us to get great looks um, from three and continuing to just move the ball, take care of the ball and um, just read the defense, kind of slow it down and, and see what our best option is. Thank you. And one for Brianna as well. Um, throughout the night, the game was really intense, but in the fourth quarter, it felt like you guys really sort of found that extra gear. How do you think the team's sort of chemistry building throughout the year really helped, helped get you guys to the win? And how do you think it sort of speaks to the success you guys have had so far? Yeah, I mean, I think that um, just the time that we spent with one another, we're, we're focused on ourselves. So no matter what the noise, um, the other team, no matter what's happening on the court, like, them shooting a lot of free throws. Uh, we continue to stay together. We continue to stay locked in, and and that makes it so we're not um, wavering. You know, we're we're steady. We not we're not too high, too low, and um, understanding that we, like I said, we just trust one another. Thanks, guys. Sish, that was. We'll go to Alfred and finish with Russell. All right. First question is for Brianna. Uh, Brianna tonight, 33 points, 14 rebounds, three assists. The first time any Liberty players had those figures in the game. How important is it for you in a game like tonight, where you're able to just set the tone and affect the game in multiple areas? Yeah, I mean, I just wanna, I wanna be aggressive, and I think that you know, from uh, the start of the season to now. Um, I probably wasn't as aggressive as I should have been and just continuing to make sure that, you know, setting the tone, Sab and I really putting ourselves in, in a lot of two-man actions uh, because that's that really puts pressure on the defense and, and finds the rest of our teammates. And a follow-up question to Sabrina. Sabrina, tonight, 24 points, seven rebounds, top five now in Liberty players with 20 points and five rebound games. 
Uh, one aspect of your game that's under, underrated is rebounding. You know, how much pride do you take in being able to be that player to secure possessions for your team, especially when you have moments where JJ may be out? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I've always, um, like, have prided myself on being able to, to get in there and rebound, knowing how tough it is for post players to have to box out, and obviously knowing tonight we were playing against a really good rebounding team, and so um, I kind of knew my opportunity was and you know was going to be to go in there and get rebounds and help us all out. And um, obviously, you need to continue to do that because I know how much it helps our team if we can just limit them to one possessions. Um, and you know, continue to do that throughout each and every game, knowing if we can get stops, we can continue to push the ball and score. Great, thank you, Russell. All right, um, question for. Sandy, I know after your first game against Chicago, I uh, talked to John Quell and she said she wasn't happy with her performance on defense in that game. Um, just wondering what you were looking for her to do tonight and uh, you can just talk about the difference that she was able to make in that fourth quarter. Yeah, look, you know, JJ, she's the anchor of our defense. I mean, her and Stewie there, what we can do, we, we, we're very versatile and you know, we had them switching and doing a great job. Um, you know, JJ just got into a little bit of foul trouble, but I think she can guard any of those players, but it's her verticality, how she changed her shots at the rim and be able to rebound, that was massive for us. She was in foul trouble, but I thought she handled handled the situation quite well for us. And, you know, um, you know the, the versatility helps for us. So we went to a zone that certainly helped us and she was able to move around and then stay, um, you know, stay between you know the basket and the and the player and, and wall up. Um, you know much better than she probably she got probably got some tough calls early, but um, you know we got to keep her out of foul trouble because she's really important for us. Thank you. 